You literally can't make this stuff up, friends. If this were a Netflix movie, you'd turn it off for being too ridiculous. Yesterday, the Taliban proudly unveiled the list of their new top government positions, and the list reads like an FBI most wanted list. And you know why it reads like an FBI most wanted list? Because it is an FBI most wanted list. This shady dude right there is named Shira Judah Haqqani, and he's the Taliban's new interior minister, basically the terror network's top intel official. Minister Haqqani is wanted by the FBI. He has a $10 million bounty on his head. Now, if that name sounds familiar, Haqqani, well, that's because he's also the leader of the Haqqani Terror Network. The Haqqani Terror Network is the bloodthirsty cell of terrorists known for suicide bombings and kidnappings. Basically, these are the worst of the worst when it comes to terrorists. The Haqqani Network was responsible for literally thousands of deaths over the years, including the 2008 bombing of a Kabul hotel that killed countless innocent civilians, including Americans. Since its inception in the 1980s, the Haqqani Network has run security for Al-Qaeda. You know, the Taliban offshoot group that flew planes into our World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and Shanksville on their way to the White House almost 20 years ago today. And today, note the timing. Almost exactly 20 years later, the Taliban announces their top cabinet of terrorists. You think that wasn't sending a message to the Biden administration? Think again. And sticking the knife further into our backs, the Taliban, get this, planning to have their government inauguration ceremony none other than on Saturday, September 11th. Maybe we should return the favor and bomb the ever-living crap out of that damn ceremony. So, so far, given what we know, what say you, Joe Biden, your State Department, or the Pentagon? Yeah, exactly. A quick glance at the rest of the list of top Taliban officials in their new kinder, gentler terrorist command center, I mean their government, we find four of the Gitmo Five. That's right, four of the terrorists Barack Hussein Obama traded for the American traitor Sergeant Bo Bergdahl in 2014 are now head honchos in Kabul. These four radical Islamists are now top brass on the Taliban. It was just a few years ago we held them in Guantanamo Bay for various crimes ranging from bombing to beheadings and kidnapping of Americans. But in 2014, against the recommendation of so many foreign policy experts, President Obama handed those dirtballs back over to the Taliban in exchange for Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. Now, if you don't recall the details surrounding Bergdahl's quote, kidnapping, that traitor walked away from his barracks in the middle of the night one night. He literally got up and walked out of his bunk and into the Taliban's arms. We sent countless missions in search of Bo Bergdahl, including six of those missions, which resulted in an American military member being killed. When Bergdahl's bunk was searched for clues, we found a bunch of anti-war propaganda Bergdahl was both reading and creating. That's right, Sergeant Bergdahl was against the war he was fighting. So he got up and walked off his base and into the waiting arms of the Taliban. Yet, we sent mission after mission looking for his sorry ass, losing more soldiers each time. It didn't take a rocket scientist to see that the terrorists we traded for that deserter that got six American service members killed would just return to the battlefield. It did take, however, one dumb Democrat to make that trade. Thanks, Obama. So those rats returned to killing Americans and our allies, and now, for their service to Allah, they are rewarded with top Taliban jobs. Personally, I can't wait for them to meet their 72 virgins. So top Taliban brass is made up of terrorists we either had and were released by Obama, or we are looking for for various murders of Americans. Hey, President Biden, your State Department or the Pentagon, the Taliban is placing the world's worst terrorists into top levels of their government, the government you allowed to take over Afghanistan, and the same people who the FBI is trying to get their hands on, the very same people you're negotiating with right now. What say you? Yeah. Got it. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, what? What, you do have something to say to the Taliban? Como say what? Oh, you're asking the Taliban if they're going to be more inclusive. I kid you not, this is true. Again, if this were a Netflix drama, you'd turn it off for being too unbelievable. Our State Department thinks the bloodthirsty, radical, Islamic, fundamentalist, jihadist zealots will be inclusive. 
I mean, like, wait, like adding women to the list they just released of all men in their top brass? That's laughable. Or maybe they'll stop the Sharia tradition of older men taking child brides. Wow, Biden, you and your administration sure are a bunch of dummies. Woke dummies, but dummies. Here's the thing, folks. These people are terrorists. They're animals. They're not human. They don't think like we do. They don't act like we do. They just want to do what terrorists do, terrorize. They're not going to be diverse as the State Department is hoping for. They won't be cool to women in power. Hell, they don't even let women out in public without an escort. And speaking of escorts, you think the Taliban is going to voluntarily pull back on their concubine game where men are legally allowed to have up to four wives and as many concubines as they want as young as 12 years old? Like I said, animals. And no, Joe, they're not going to become more inclusive. Not now and not after the cameras go on to the next shiny object. But at least you're consistent. Putting woke principles over real life. Idiotic, but consistent. I got an idea for you guys. Why don't you try this out, Joe? Next communication you have with the Haqqani Islamic Jihadist Network, I dare you suggest putting Taliban, a gay man in charge of one of the ministries. Let's see how that feels. Exactly. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.